it's very important that we conduct these citizen science surveys. As you mentioned, more than 100,000 people took part last year. The survey's been running for a number of years now, thanks to our general sponsors, B&Q and the DFN Foundation. And as a consequence of that, it's generating really good data. And butterfly conservation are good at data management. We've got our finger firmly on the pulse of the UK's butterfly uh, and moth populations, thanks to these sorts of projects, where essentially volunteers go into the field or their garden and, and count these insects and of course we know that many of our butterfly species are in considerable trouble they're in decline in order to affect proper conservation we need to know why they're declining where they're declining where they're doing well so on and so forth so we need people's help and 15 minutes and isn't a lot to ask for when it's given you so much joy during lockdown this year and Zoe, it does vary doesn't it the butterfly population from year to year i think it was very good for painted ladies last year wasn't it but what do you want people to keep an eye out for in particular well, this year we'd like people to keep an eye out for um, the large white and the small white and the brimstone because they've had um, a really good first generation because of the warm spring. Um, so it could be that the second Brent generation is, is bumper and it's booming, which would be fantastic news for these species. Um, and also the small tortoise shell, um, that, that's, done, that's done really well um, this spring. Again, we're hoping for bumper numbers um, of this butterfly and maybe it can bounce back from its, its, seven, its 79% decline since the late, late, late 1970s. And finally, Chris, obviously less pollution because people haven't been out and about in their cars, there have been fewer planes. So have there been benefits for nature in lockdown? Yes, there have, very definitely. We know that um, the byproducts of petrochemical consumption tend to bind with the scents that flowers use to attract pollinators to them. We're not entirely sure that's applicable to butterflies. There's a strong chance it is. We know it is the case with bees. So certainly in urban and suburban areas where there was less traffic, you know, effectively the flowers could smell better, the animals could find them, there was more pollination, more insects means more birds. I mean, the whole ecology would have been benefiting. The one downside, I will say, Martha, is that whilst lockdown was strict and people were um, behaving themselves and staying in um, many of the surveys that would have been done in the field not in the garden weren't able to take place